Today's show is super special. Let's take a trip back to 1998 and see what wonderful technology was coming out in that year. It was a big one. It was a big one. Don't go anywhere. Okay, everybody, this is me opening up an awesome, awesome package that I received. Uh, actually, it's been a couple of months now, but um, I'm finally getting around to cutting this down for you so that you yourself can have fun, as much fun as I did opening this thing. So um, it it was a little sketchy, the, uh, the box that it came in, but... Um, Worst wrapping ever. Yeah. So anyway, let's get this thing open and uh, bam, there it is. Look at that. This is the original Bondi Blue Apple iMac. This is the Revision B model, which was introduced in October of 1998. And it features a 233 megahertz PowerPC 750 G3 processor. It has 512K backside level 2 cache and 32 megabits of RAM to go along with 4 gigabytes of hard drive. Now, this revision, the revision B, comes with a Rage Pro Turbo Graphics with 6 megabytes of VRAM. And it's packaged quite nicely. I mean, the great thing about this product is when I bought it, it was complete in box. It came almost as you would get it the first time back in 1998. Um, so this is what's obviously very exciting for me because I did not have one when it was uh, 1998. So you got yourself some cool peripherals here. You can see that legendary puck mouse. We'll talk about that later. And this awesome keyboard, which we'll also talk about later. And it comes with all the bells and whistles, your warranty, your manual. You've got some sample CDs in there. You got some software in there. You've got your how to set up, which was just two easy steps. Plug in and play. That was their big thing back then. Now these are all on CDs, of course. Uh, none of these are going to be uh, <laughs> good today. Um, unless you have an older computer with an older operating system. But um, yeah, most of these, if not all, are pretty much obsolete. Uh, you won't be able to play those on your computers today. Oh my gosh, look at that. There is an... And I'm not talking about the orange iMac thing there. I'm talking about, look at this Discover America Online 4.0. 100 free hours. Children of the 80s and 90s understand what I'm talking about. Get those AOL stuff, those CDs coming in the mail all the time. So let's move on. Let's get to the main event here. Let's take out the computer. It doesn't look it, but it's pretty darn heavy. And really all it needs is just a fresh cleanup. This CRT was advertised as crystal clear and it is. I mean, the, the, the monitor that they put on this thing was amazing. And, and you can see the transparent shell that it comes with. That's what made it super cool and futuristic looking. And this is, um, this is a cool thing too. You've got this port on the side with with all of these connections now it comes with looks like two USB two USB ports there an Ethernet telephone line and it looks like some uh, some stereo input output um, as well and let's be honest the thing that's pretty much the elephant in the room it comes with this iconic all-in-one case design that showcases this 15 inch crystal clear CRT display at the time there was really nothing prettier now not many people were happy about the hockey puck mouse that came with the system but if i'm being completely and totally honest here i think it's cool as hell i mean look at this thing but if you didn't like it you could get an attachment that made it feel more ergonomic 
I also want to mention that the you know it's not just a cool puck or anything like that, but even the even the cords came with with a transparent skin on it. I mean, they did not spare any expense to make this thing look good. Now, I also love the keyboard. It is freaking amazing. The color, its see-through complexion, and the two USB ports on the on either side. It holds up really, even in today's standards. So this computer was made for Apple's made for the internet age product. Thus, the I prefix in iMac. And there's no question it has a unique look to it, but it's also a unique computer for Apple in that it was the first Mac to include USB ports and the first without a floppy drive. All right, so let's get this thing plugged in. We definitely want to see if this thing runs, if there's any issues. There shouldn't be any issues. It says it was tested, but, you know, you can never be too sure. And then uh, you just push the power button on the keyboard itself, and then boom, here we go. I'm going to let this run because, you know, back in the day, loading times were a little different than they are in today's world. So just to kind of give you a taste of how long it takes for this thing to boot up, uh, most people would not deal with this in today's world. So... This does come with a CD-ROM, a 24-speed CD-ROM in the computer itself. Can't wait to use that. So let's talk software. Now, first of all, this computer comes pre-installed with Mac OS 8.5. The revision A, which was the original that came out, came pre-installed with 8.1. But if you're looking to upgrade, you can. You can get it all the way up to Mac OS X 10.3.9 if you like. Uh, and I may end up doing that myself. And of course, there were also games. And this is, after all, a gaming channel, so we need to talk about those. This one's called Nanosaur. This is actually pre-installed onto the game itself. So this will be interesting to play. Again, this is 1998 we're talking about. 1998. So, graphically, be prepared. Those are cool 3D graphics. Pretty cool though for 1998. It's also, I wouldn't recommend playing these type of games on the floor really not conducive to good gaming but you know i'm just again just testing it out um but look at this thing again again it, it really looks pretty good considering the time So there you have it. That is the iMac from Apple, 1998, late 1998. I had never had, like I said, an iMac before. It's something that uh, I've always wanted and just never got my hands on, really. And now that I do, I'm just super excited about it. Um, it just feels really good. It still looks great 
today. And uh, I'm just excited I have it in my collection. I hope you guys had a good time and you learned something or maybe you had a little fun just kind of peering back into the past. Um, if you did, please subscribe and hit that bell before you go. And hopefully I'll see you next time on another Layman Video Gamer episode. We'll see you then. Hopefully. Thank <laughs> you.